All right, shout out one. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakak Wadash. That one said, the eldest and the apostles of Great Millstone, so I taste you all the Aki pushing word with truth, sincerity, and maturity. Uh, we the brothers from Great Millstone out here in Chicago, man, and we just, we back at you with another video, man. We're going to basically go on to being holy, man. Because, hey, you know, the uh, the Lord, uh, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh he gave uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Law, statutes, and commandments, and what right. they did for us, man, that uh, that separated us from all these different nations, man. You know, uh, but without further ado, go ahead and get into these scriptures. Y'all got something? Yeah, we gotta this... get to Leviticus first. Okay. Oh, okay. What you, you got it? Or... Uh, no, I had to do Deuteronomy. All right, wait. What the Deuteronomy say? Seven six. Oh, no, no, no. no. We, uh, we start off with Leviticus eleven Come. and thirty five, I think. This is. Is it 45? Uh, this is Leviticus chapter 11, verse 45. It says, For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your power. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we got we to gotta be holy. What is holy? Separate. Separate from what? What the heathens do, man. What The, who, the people who don't have lost that's commandments. What they do. We got to be separate from this world, man. From this, from this wicked world, man. Uh, the Lord said, "Be holy, for the Lord is holy." The Lord is not of this world, man. So we gotta be uh, holy. We gotta be separate from this wicked society, society, man. Mm -hmm. uh, this First John two and fifteen it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." And hey, what's in the world, man? You have wickedness, man. You have carnal things, man. You have uh, lust, desires, man. But the Lord said, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High, the will of the Most High by forever, man. So right, man, hey, we are spiritual, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You can't be spiritual, man, if you still uh, concerning yourself with the kids of this world, man. You know, if you still trying to feed your flesh, man, and do whatever you want to do, man. That's not being a uh, uh, holy, man, you know. Uh, I got some. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. For Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all pe above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Alright, so you so called Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. Alright, you are supposed to be a holy people, man. Alright, and that word holy inside of Deuteronomy 7 and 6 is Kodash. And it says, sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart. All right, we supposed to be set apart from all these nations, man. All right, when, hey, hey, when, 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 uh, when the nations look at us, man, we, they supposed to know that we are the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. All right? We, they, we not supposed to look at, we, the, he not, not supposed to look at us and say, oh, these just niggas. All right? They supposed to look at us and say, hey, those, those are those men, man. You know? I got to preach that for you. That's more than that. Uh, nah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'm sorry, at verse 7. Ooh, that's, that's oh, yeah, kind of bad. Kind. It's Deuteronomy 4 and verse 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Hey, Amen. The Lord taught us these things. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a great nation. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto as Yahweh our power is in all things that we call upon him for? Um, it's a little bit more. It says, And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I uh, set before you this day, man, and aid, you know? With the uh, with these different nations, they look at us, man, and they they see the uh, the basically the ways of life, man. They say, "Damn, that's a beautiful nation, man." You know, that's what separate us from them, man. Because without the uh, without the laws, man, we'd be counted as beasts, man. And that's what heathens are, man. But they beast, you know. Hey, man, like like the heathen, man. They know that eating pork and all these other vulnerable foods is cancerous to your body, man. It destroys your body. All right. They, hey, they, these people know this, man. And they know that's in the scriptures, man. All right, but they push it upon our people because they want us to be like them. They don't want us to be holy. All right, they don't want us to be uh, 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 close to your how about Shemiah Shai, man. Because we are, man. Hey, that's when we at our most powerful state. All right, hey, hey, pork, 
and shrimp and lobster, man. Anything that's contrary to the law is your kryptonite, man. All right? Hey, hey, these heathens out here are less looped, man. All right, they want to keep that kryptonite to you so they can beat your ass and keep you weak, man. All right? So, hey, 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 uh, we, we want to push that away from you, man, so you can be strong and, and defeat all of your enemies, man. Yeah, I appreciate this. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and verse 2, it says, uh, well, I'm sorry, verse 1, it says, He, the word which Yahweh would speak unto you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, man. And, hey, the Lord told us not to learn the, uh, what these heathens do, man, because it's not us. That's not us being separate, man, you know? That's us conforming to what's uh well to what's uh against the Lord, man. You know? I got a song. Second Ezra is found verse twenty seven. And among all the multitudes of the people, thou hast gathered thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou givest a law that is approved of all. Alright, so amen, Yahweh Al Shai is holy, man. Alright, he has gathered himself one people, man. Alright, and what is that one people? Yasharala, man. Okay, and he, had, hey, we the only ones who have been given the law, man. All right, no other people on this planet have been given the law. All right, no other people on this planet is holy, man. All right, they are all, 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 every other nation, man, is all bundled into one, man. They're all wicked, man. All right, and they all follow after Esau, you know, we're not supposed to do that, man. We're supposed to follow after the Lord, man. The Lord gave us law, statutes, and commandments to follow, man. All right? Hey, Come. It's like, catch your out for you. Come. This is uh, Sirach, uh, not Sirach, this is a book of Esther, 10 and 10. It says, therefore, yeah, I'm just starting 10. It says, therefore, have he made two lots, one for the people of God and another for all the Gentiles. Touching in what the brother was talking about, hey, that's that division, man. You know, the Israelites, they special. That's they lot, man. And then all 17 other nations, that's them, man. You know, when the scriptures say uh, the Lord has set a rule over every people, but Israel is his portion, man. You know, man, that's that that goes back into that two lots, man. You know, uh, hey, um, do y'all know that scripture that say uh, um, the heathens wag and gnash it and gnash their teeth? Or well, say something like the heathens wag their head and hiss and clap, clap their, their hands? hands. Uh, I think that's it's in Lamentations. I yeah, think yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's in Lamentations. God, it's probably like. Four inch or two and fifteen. Two and yeah, fifteen. Two and fifteen. I read for you. Kind of uh, this is Lamentations two and fifteen. It says all they, so like all that pass by, clap their hands mm -hmm. at the. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, "Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for." We have found, we have seen it. Come, hey man, hey, that's this, this is what happens, man. When you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai, man. All right, we are brought very low, man. All right, very low, man, lower than the heathen, man. All right, the Lord allows the heathen, man, who who are not holy, who are not unto Him, man, all right, who is not His people, to rule over His people and fuck His people up, man. All right, because you don't want to hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai. Hit up verse 17 Come. says, Yahweh have done that which he had devised. He had fulfilled his word that he commanded in the days of old, man. Hey, what the what is this talking about, man? It's talking about when uh Yahweh Shai gave Moses the law, man. He told him, Hey, if they listen to me, these blessings gonna come. But if they don't, these curses gonna come, man. So it's referring back to Deuteronomy 28th chapter, man. It says, Uh, he hath thrown down and have not pitied, and he hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. He hath set up the horn of thy adversaries. And, hey man, that's what happens, man. You know, you go off. The Lord, he he punished us, man, and he put he made us, he brought us low, man. He allowed our enemy to reign over us, man. You know. Huh. Second Ezra is found verse twenty eight. And now, O Yahweh, why hast thou given this one people over unto many, and unto and unto the one root hast thou prepared others, and why hast thou scattered the thy only one people among many? All right, and that hey, and that's why, man. All right, because we didn't hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel man. All right, we 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 want we lay we lean unto our own understanding, man. All right, we wanted to do our own thing. We wanted to worship a fucking golden calf, man. All right, when we when, when we just seen all the power that Yahweh by Shemuel brought uh, uh 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 brought down upon those Egyptians, man. All right, parted the Red Sea for us, man. All right, did all those one uh, uh wonderful miracles and put all those curses. On those Egyptians, man. And what did we do, man? We went right off, man. We started worshiping another God, man. You know? 
And it says, um, and they and they which did gainsay thy promises and believe not thy covenants have shrouded them down. If thou didst so much hate thy people, why shouldest why shouldest thou punish them with thine own hands? You know, Amen. The Lord gave the Lord gave us into the hands of the heathens, man. I a a a these heathens I, I can clean utterly destroyed us, man. They the lower the low, you know. And now we now we're in their position, man. You know, we supposed to be reigning over them. Hey, but we didn't hearken to <clears throat> we didn't hearken to the words of the Lord, man. Our people, uh, uh, don't matter what we say to them, man. They just they love this wickedness that is in uh, happening, man. Huh. They love the uh, the wickedness that uh, Esau even them lets them do, man. Hey, I, I got a precept for you. Mm -hmm. This first John found verse nineteen, and we know that we are of Yahweh, right. and the whole world lieth in wickedness. So hey, that's why hey James four and four says hey. Uh, Basically, if you I got it. Really, yeah. I got it. Yeah. This is James chapter four and verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? So why is the friendship? Why is beholding on to this word uh, a mutual hatred with the Most High? Because for one, you in this world, you serve me, Esau, Edom, man. You can't have two masters. You know, either you go love the one and hate the other, mm -hmm. or you or vice versa, man. Either you go love uh, uh, Esau Edom and hate the Lord, man. Because you, if, if you love Esau Edom, you're not keeping the Lord's commandments. So you can't love the Lord. If you love the Lord, you're keeping his commandments. So you got to hate the evil. There's it's no in-between that, man. You know? And the whole world life of wickedness. This uh, Galatians 1 and 4 says it's a present evil word, man. Sorry. You know? So if this is a present evil word, then our people have to be holy. Be out of this place. Because if we are separate, if you are uh, in this word. What are you holding from? What are you separating yourself from? You separate separating yourself from uh, 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 um, the righteousness. You're not separating yourself from the wickedness, man. God. You are in the wickedness. You can't be sanctified being wicked, man. It just ain't gonna work like that, you know. Hey, and the whole world like the wickedness because look who's ruling, man. Look who was ruling back uh, uh, back when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this uh, uh, Esau Edom, man. All right, look who's ruling right now, Esau Edom, man. That's why the whole world like the wickedness. And uh, what is that? The book, um, I believe it's 1 Maccabees, when it talks about uh, uh, Alexander, when he got into power, man. 1 Maccabees 1. You know? I get it for you. Come. I can't bring this out for uh, what Taz, why would you touch me Come. on this? Uh, Titus 2 and 11 says, For the grace of the Most High that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, man. And hey, that's what this uh this this what these laws statutes and commandments, man, so like and it's uh and the spirit of the Lord is supposed to do for us, man, you know? It says we're supposed to live uh uh we're supposed to be denying ungodliness, man. Anything that's contrary to the most high, man. It says and uh worldly lust, uh worldly desires, man, you know, what's up this world? Uh, uh, uh wickedness, man, you know. Uh, you might want to go commit adultery or something like that. That you deny that because that's against the Most High. It says we should live soberly, you know, uh, one-mindedly, you know, righteously and godly in this present world, man. And you know that's being separate because you know what the brother said. The Galatians one and four, man. It said this is a present evil world, but we have to live righteously in this evil world, man. You know how we do that, man? Following the Lord. God. That's on that. God. This is first Maccabees um one and nine. And after his death, talk about Alexander the uh, Greek, man. After his death, right? It says they put they all put crowns upon themselves, talking about his four generals. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. Evils was multiplying the earth, man. Alright? And hey man, those men were Edomites, man. Evil was multiplying the earth because those men were ruling, man. Those men had power. All right, when the wicked have power, man, the whole world life and wickedness, man. All right, that's why you so-called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans should be hearkening to this word, man. All right, but you don't want to do that because you love darkness, man. All right, Jane, uh, John. I got it. Come. <laughs> this is John chapter 3. Now I start at 18. He that believeth on him, talking about Yahweh Shai, is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. Hey, for one thing, hey, you got to know the right name. That just shows you got to know the right name, man. Come, what is his son? If, if thou can tell, Come. you know. <laughs> Proverbs 30 and 4, man. Hey, if you don't know that name, you could. You know, pursuant to Acts 4 and 12. Come. 
And it says, um, verse 19, and this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Why they love darkness rather than light, right? Because their deeds were evil. So they love darkness rather than light, man, because they deeds evil, because they, they going off. So they're like, oh, man, the, the, we the light of the earth, man. They're like, oh, man, here, here come these people, man. Because they deeds evil, because they going off, because they're in darkness, man. Hey man, these these are the same niggas that killed uh Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. And he didn't do nothing but preach the word. Hey, even the even that <laughs> heathen pilot. He said, did he, he what did he do? Right. I found right. him an innocent man. God. You fucking wicked niggas, man. And hey, not- and that hey that that's why that's why two thirds of our nation have to get put to death, man. Right. It's no pity for you niggas, man. None whatsoever. Hey man, hey, this is the same generation. Hey, what what Yahweh Shai say? Uh, uh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. Yeah. You know, these are the same niggas that kill the prophets, man. Hey, you know, what did they do to Stephen? Stephen, Stephen was telling they, them, uh, a history lesson. He was telling <laughs> them that they were prophet killers, and then they went and killed the prophet by stoning him. Man, hey man, D A A two thirds of our people got it down, man. Hey, and John the eighth chapter, they was uh, finna stone your heart with shot, man. Come, come, just for telling them they going off, man. Tell them they not to see the Abraham. Hey, but, they don't believe on Yahweh, man, or Yahweh Shah. Come. Hey, 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 but they, that's because our people, man, hey, hey, that John 3, 19, you know, they love the wickedness, man. All right, they, they, our people don't want to be told that they're doing wrong, you know? Hey, hey, man, two-thirds of our people have to go, man, but you're supposed to be the holiest people on this planet, man. We ought to be the holiest people. Hey, I, I, I got this. Isaiah 65, verse 1. I am so of them that ask not for, that ask of that ask for me not. All right, and it says, I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. All right, man. Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is stretching his hands out daily to you niggas, man. All right, daily, man. But people are not hearkening, man. They not they not trying to look at the Lord, man. The Lord is saying, hey, Look at me. I'm I'm the way, man. I'm the light to get you out of this hellhole. But our people saying, nah, we, we want to keep on groping inside of darkness. Keep on stumbling over uh, bricks and shit and busting our head, man. And verse 2, it says, I have, shre- I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walk which walk it in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. All right? And that's what our people have done, man. They walk it, it walked in a way that after their own thoughts, man. All right? Just like the example I brought up with the golden calf, man. Our people thought thought that it was a good thing to bring to bring forth and worship a golden calf, man. Have you just seen all this beautiful power that the Lord have done to uh, uh uh get you out of Egypt, man? And you niggas was talking shit. You was still talking stuff, man. When uh, uh, uh when Moses was leading you, man. All right, murmuring, man. All right. After all all this beautiful all these beautiful things, you you niggas want to go back to Egypt, man. All right. And we telling you this is the way to the way out of the mod, the modern day Egypt. And what you niggas want to do? Stay here, man. Yo, death, hey, hey, this is not your rest, I man. Why right the two team? I got it right here. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. Hey, man, hey, man, this, this land is destroying you, man. All right, look at our people, man. Our women are bald here as hell, man. All right? The men weak as hell, pussy fat, man. Let the woman rule over you, man. All right? Hey, man, hey, this kingdom has to go, man, and our people have to get out of there, man. All right, that's why in the book of Revelation, it says, come out of her, my people. All right, and, and be not partakers of our sins, man. All right, hey, 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 hey. The the uh, uh as the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom, man, and He will destroy it off the face of the earth. Then the next uh, two verses down, it says that uh, uh, all sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man. All right, we we'll say the evil shall not uh, 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 overtake nor prevent us, man, because you niggas don't believe that this is gonna happen, man. But guess what? It will come to pass, man. Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-three, man. You shall know that a prophet have been among you, man. You know. Uh, you got something? You finishing Isaiah? Come. You finish it. Uh, uh, back in Isaiah 65 and verse uh, 3, it says, A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice it in gardens and burn it incense upon, uh, 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 upon, uh, upon altars of bricks, which remain among yeah. the graves and lodge uh, in, the, in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. And broth of abominable things in their uh, vessels. And that's exactly what our people do, man. Are right, you niggas eat swine flesh, man? Are right, you eat shrimp, lobsters, uh, 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 catfish, man? 
All right, whatever abominable thing it is, hey, you niggas want to eat it, man. You want to take part in it, man. Especially uh, 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 the ones that teach in the, in the church, man. As soon as you get done preaching the word of God, all right, you go inside the basement. All right, you uh, uh, you get pork, you eat the pork, man. All right, you go inside the parking lots and, and fry and fry pork on the grill, man. All right, and say this is all in the name in the, in the name of God, man. All right, but hey, God, God said in the, in, in, uh, uh, in the, in the uh, Leviticus chapter 11, all right, what you can and can't eat, man, and swine's flesh was one of them. So you just blatantly breaking the, the, the law, slash commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai because you believe that you have grace, man. You know? I people are wicked as hell, man. And it says, hey, um, oh, not, yeah. not only do they, um, not only are they eating swine's, they eating swine's flesh twice. They eating a the false doctrine in there. Man. And they eating the physical swine's flesh, man. Man. They teaching them that the law is over with, but they want to they bring around the tithes buckets, man. They teaching them the law is over with, but they saying sin. When the hell was sin talked about? Con. Con. They talk <laughs> they say you can sin, but they say the law is over with. Sin is transgressing of the law, and sin was taught and brought up in the old testament. Man. That's right. Yeah, I was shot said in Matthew 5, he, he said think not that he come to destroy the law or the prophets. He come to fulfill and also What's that, John? Um, I think it was uh, the fifth chapter. Well, it could have been uh, Matthew, the same fifth chapter. It said, "No, nah, it was John." It said, "If you believe on Moses, you can, you got you should believe on me." So if you always shy for people, and we call Jesus. It said, "If you believe on Moses, you should believe on me." In the New Testament, <laughs> why is the Old Testament done away with? Because y'all don't want accountability, man. God. And the New Testament holds you to accountability. They teaching doctrines of men. It's Matthew the fifteen chapter speaks about. Let me finish the Isaiah, man. This kind of bugged out. Isaiah. It's gonna go more into that. Isaiah sixty five and verse five. Which say, stand, stand by me not. I say, stand by thyself. Come not near me, for I am holier than thou. And that's how people think, man. Cause you go to church, all right. You 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 uh, uh you worship uh, uh Shazray Borgia, all right. You think that you're holier than us, man. All right, you look at us like like we some bums, man. You tell us that we wear dresses, man. Well, this is what you're supposed to be wearing a garment, man. Are right, you supposed to be having sackcloth on, man? All right, mourning because of this place is wicked as hell, man. All right, but hey, I, I people think that they are holier than us, man. But they not, man. They're hey, these people are wicked as hell, man. They they put life for darkness. I say they put uh uh, uh, for, uh bitter for sweet, might as well get it. Right, calm, right, calm. <laughs> uh, Isaiah. Like Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, um, Khan, it says, um, yeah, am I in the right chapter? Uh, so, like, I'm in the wrong book. Uh, no, nah, it's Isaiah yeah, 5 and 20. Isaiah. I was in the wrong book, so like, this ain't this Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, it says, woe to woe unto them. That call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And it said, woe unto them, man. All right, woe unto you niggas, man, which means death and destruction, man. All right, for putting, for, for, uh, for doing those things, man. For, hey, for, for putting everything good, bad, man. All right, and for putting everything bad, good, man. All right, hey, woe unto you, man. You know? And it says, these, these are... A smoke in my nose, a fire that uh, that burned it all the day. All right, man, that's a smoke in the nose of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man, which is irritation, man. All right, smoke gets inside your nose, you try to hurry up and blow it out, man. All right, because it's irritation, man. All right, hey, hey, you niggas are irritable unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man. Hey, when something's irritable, uh, irritable unto you, man, you get it out the way. And that's what the Lord is going to do to you niggas, man. Get you right out the way, right along with the heathen, man. Because you don't want to be holy, man. You know? Facts. Hey, this is Ecclesiastes 10 to 6. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. So, hey, man, y'all, what is putting in great dignity, man? These churches put in great dignity, so-called, of course. These people in here, uh, you go, these people out here dancing. What is, y'all sitting here dancing to some trap music. No edification coming out, It's say like all things be done to hey, edifying, spirit, man. Spirit, come. What's edifying about that? What, how you uh, edifying the body of Yahweh Shai, man? Okay. How you building up the uh, tabernacles of David, man? Okay, I appreciate it really quick. This Amos 5 and verse, uh, 
it says, I'm sorry, verse 21, it says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings, offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard uh, the peace offerings of your fat uh, beast. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy uh, voice. Hey, to touch it on, the Lord don't want to hear that, man. You go to church, you play some dumbass music, you, you, you sing, play some music that you don't actually a bad guy, man. The Lord don't hear that, man. You know? Uh, it's like, let me grab this real quick. Uh, hey, check this out. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 22. I'm going to go ahead and start at verse... Uh, 17 it says and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man the house of Israel is to me become dross all they are brass and tin and iron and lead and the midst of the furnace they are even the dross of silver therefore thus saith the Lord God because ye are all become dross behold therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Hey, the Lord just said he gonna, uh, he gonna melt you Israelites, man. You know, you Israelites that know you Israelites, and then you Israelites that's, that don't know, and that's just caught up in that dumb shit, man. You know, these dumb, uh, dumb ass, uh, different uh, religions, man. The Lord said he gonna melt you, man. It says, as they gather, uh, it's like, it says, yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in a mist. In the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. Ye shall know that I, Yahweh, have poured out my fury upon you, man. And 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 the Lord's gonna do these things, man, because you you moved to the wrath, man. You know, and you're still doing it to this day, man. You're being hypocrites. You're going to church, you're praising them, but then you're going to the basement and eating pork shrimp and lobster, man. You know. Not even the basement. They walk inside the church with kind shit. Hey yes. man, these what these people man, the Lord basically just said he's gonna hit you with a missile, man. The Lord is going to destroy you people. Why would the Lord uh, keep speaking about destroying these people, man? If y'all if this was uh, uh on point, where would the where's the elect at, man? Right. This these churches, there's nothing separate about it, man. They do whatever is in the world. But you got your piece of God. This is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, all right, which is Israel, Yasharala. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the word for our sakes. All right, this word was made for us, man, the holy people. And it says, as for the other people, which uh, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all these heathens are are basically nothing, man. All right, they're nothing. Spit when you spit out of your mouth, man. Hey, you, you want that? You want that gone, man? It's nothing to you, man. All right, a drop from a, a drop from 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 a bottle is nothing. Okay, and it says, uh, and 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 now, oh yeah, how will behold these heathen? Which uh, which which have ever been reputed as nothing have began to be lords over us and to devour us. And why is that? Because we have been going off, all right, from the beginning of time, man. Okay. Oh, I got some Bible This uh Jeremiah six and verse twenty-eight says they are grievous revolters walking with slanders, they are brass and iron, they are all corruptors, man. It says the bellows are burnt, the lead is consumed of the fire, the uh, founder melteth in vain. For the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them because Yahweh have rejected them, man. Mm -hmm. And he done that because you turned your back on him. You decided to walk after your own lust, man, and trust in lying words, man. So you're going to be called reprobate, reprobate uh, silver, man. You know? That's right. That's a lot. Ezra 6 and verse 58. It says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast, whom ha whom thou hast called in thy firstborn, and... Uh, Thy, thy only begotten and thy favorite lover are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sake, uh, our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance in the world? How long shall this endure? All right, until you niggas be destroyed, man. All right, hey, 
Hey, that, that's the only that's the only way, man. And the elect be sealed, and, and we be brought out of this, and we be brought out of this hell, man. We're gonna be on the lower the low, the bottom of the bottom, forever, man, until we get the kingdom of heaven. Cause you niggas just gonna keep going off. All right, hey, if you read the book of Judges, man, all right, only thing you niggas did was uh uh uh, uh go off, get put in captivity. The Lord raised up a judge. All right, you cried to the Lord. The Lord uh uh. Uh, uh, saved you, and then your ass went off and ran right back into captivity. The whole book, all right. That's exactly what our people do, man. Non-stop, non-stop sinners, man. Non-stop uh, rebellious children, man. Hey, hey, that's why the scriptures say we are stiff-necked people, man. All right, we are stiff-necked, man. Hey, and the only way we, the only way we're gonna uh, 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 have inheritance inside this world is when we get the kingdom of heaven, man. And that's why you gotta be holy. That's why you gotta be separate from this world, man. If not. You're gonna get caught up in this world and get destroyed, man. You know? He said this world hates the fast to pass away, man. If you if you in this world, man, you're gonna get destroyed, man. It's simple as that. You know? Right. It's simple as that, man. If you ain't holy, if you ain't serving the Lord, you have no purpose, because that's the whole duty of man. Then you yeah. was born in vain, man. You just saw a fool. You guys got some more than that. No, that's it. Hey man, we tell these we tell our people, man, to uh uh believe. And do this and be holy in that. They're not going to listen, man. Because this is Ezekiel 3 and 7. It says, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. So they're not going to hearken unto us. It says, oh, for they will not hearken unto me. They, they ain't even going to listen to the Lord, man. They, what do you do with somebody who won't listen to you, the Lord? They won't listen to anybody, man. What you going to do to them people? They, gotta, they have to be purged, man. Have to. It says, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted, man. They listen to anything, any wayward doctrine, man. And they they, they, they are set in their own ways, man. Pursuant to, uh, 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 pursuant to Romans 11 and 7, pursuant to Isaiah 6 and 9, man. Our people, hey, they, the Lord shut their ears, man. There ain't nothing we can do, man. You got something? Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So this is Isaiah chapter 3. Uh, one in verse, I'm going to go to verse 4 It says, a sinful nation of people Latin with iniquity, a seed of evildoers Children that are corruptors They have forsaken Yahweh They have provoked the Holy One of Israel Into anger, they are all gone away Backer, man, and that's what our people do You know, we sit down there, we have break it down to them Bit by bit, but they still go off Of what they learn in the world, man Or learn from their pastor, man It says, why should ye be stricken anymore Ye will revolt more and more the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, man. The Lord ain't finna, you know what? The Lord, like, I ain't gonna keep punishing you, man. I ain't gonna keep you in captivity, man. Then what I gotta do is I gotta reset you, man. What that mean? I gotta come and destroy you, man, so you can get the download in the kingdom, man. You know? Because they ain't gonna get it on this side, man. You know, he told uh, the prophet Jeremiah, I believe, he told him, don't pray for these people, man. You know? And the Lord said that too, man. You know? Uh, I got something. Uh, nah, that's it. You got something? Hey, with that, man, we hope this is edifying. We want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadash. That one said, Elders and the Apostles, the Great Mill Song, Citation to all the Ikean Christians, Orb 2, Sierra, Tim Cherry, Shalom, Baba, and Brockadon. Baba, Baba.